Thanks for checking out the video. In this one, I'm just going to do a quick uh, modification to one of my rifles. Uh, it's probably one of the most popular mods. I'm going to add a tactical bolt handle and the aluminum bolt shroud to a Tika T3 rifle in 308 that sits in a KRG Bravo chassis. So we'll go ahead and get to it. The only thing you're really going to need is either a punch or a hex key, uh, something about 1 8 inch size, uh, which this one is, and then maybe just a, a couple of paper towels for uh, gripping. So we'll go ahead and get to it. Uh, first thing you want to do is, with this rifle, you have to take the uh, safety off to be able to remove the bolt. So we'll go ahead and check. Make sure that the chamber is empty. Uh, the KRG Bravo chassis, you have to remove the cheek rest to be able to pull out the bolt completely. Check for that. And then with the shroud, basically you need to rotate this piece out of this notch here. So we're gonna rotate the, the shroud cover clockwise around the bolt until it stops. Then you can slide it right off. And then you should be able to see there's this hole or slot in the center. And what you wanna do is take your punch or a hex key, put it into it, and then you're going to turn it counterclockwise to where we started, which is right there. And then we're going to bring it over a little bit further to get it over this hump and drop it into the channel of the bolt here, just like that. And then you'll see that there's actually a little bit of slack in the firing pin, which is what you need because you want to be able to slide the original handle out. Now that we have the handle out, we can actually take our firing pin and be careful because it is still under tension, the spring right here, because we have it locked in place. And then this gives you the opportunity to go ahead and clean your firing pin, uh, clean the spring. And this is recommended to be not oiled. So don't put any lubrication, uh, just make sure that it's nice and clean. And then we're going to go ahead and reinsert it. And there's a flat part right here that we need to line up with this slot there. So I'll go ahead and open these packages real quick. Okay, so we have our firing pin in the correct position. We're going to go ahead and take our new bolt handle and hopefully slide it in without any issues. So we're good there. Now we go ahead and we want to rotate the firing pin out of that channel. So just rotate it up. And that's the original notch that it was in. And we're going to keep on going. Bring it all the way until it stops. And then we're going to take our new shroud. And this one actually comes with a spring. So go ahead and take that out. And then we'll drop the spring into our new aluminum bolt shroud. Go ahead and install it. And once it hits the base of the bolt, go ahead and turn it counterclockwise back towards you until it drops into that little notch again. You don't want to go any further because if you drop it all the way into that channel, 
then you can't get it into the rifle. But there it is. Go ahead and wipe it off. And this is the uh, the pineapple textured uh, tactical bolt handle if you're interested. And then insert it back into the rifle. Check to make sure that it functions. Everything seems good. Put our cheek rest back on. And you're good to go. That's it. Full installation of the bolt shroud and tactical bolt handle. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Feel free to like, dislike, share, subscribe. Uh, check out some of the other videos. And that's pretty much it. Remember, your Second Amendment rights are always under attack. Every gun law is 100% unconstitutional. Don't let anybody tell you any different. So, thanks again for watching.